Hello physical scientists and math learners, I'm Miss Martins and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a lesson. Tell me what topic you would like to see next. Enjoy the lesson. Simplifying with fractions is very different to solving with fractions. Okay, so I'm going to use very basic examples to illustrate this. Um, I'll do one or two. On the left hand side, I'm going to do a simplifying fractions example. And this, you should know how to do. So if I'm not using a calculator, and I'll ask you to add a half and two over three. So simplify that. I know there's no variables involved, but we'll get to one where there are variables involved. How do I do that? Remember, I want to combine it into a single fraction. So I need to find the LCD, the lowest common denominator lowest common denominator. So basically, what number can 2 and 3 go into? The lowest number that they can both go into? And it's 6. So basically, I'm, com I'm combining them and I want to make them over 6. So then you say to yourself, what must I do to 2 to get it to be 6? You must times it by 3. So that ne means I need to times the 1 by 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So what is 1 times 3? 3. Okay. Then don't forget the plus sign in between. Then let's look at the second fraction. How do I get the denominator to become 6? You times it by 2. So what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So you say 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So my simplified answer here, 3 plus 4 is 7 over 6. So when we simplify fractions, we find the LCD, and we keep the LCD. Let's just look at how I would solve this. So similar, you can see I chose a similar sum, a half plus 2 over 3 equals x over 6. So I kept it very simple. What I need to do still is I need to find the LCD. So what, num what number can 2, 3, and 6 go into? The lowest one, that's common. And the answer is still 6. So, if I'm changing the bottom here to 6, I must change them all to 6, and that one to 6. So then you ask yourself, what must I do to 2 to make it 6? You times by 3, so you need to times the top by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, what did I do to the 3 to get it to be 6? You times it by 2. So you need to times the top by 2. So we got 4. And then the last one, 6 to get to 6. You don't need to do anything. You times it by 1, basically. So you need to times the x by 1. So what's x times 1? x. Now, when we do solving, do you see we've got them all over the lowest common denominator? Now, because we're solving and because there's an equal sign, what we can do now, it's quite nice, is we can just drop all these denominators. Drop the denominators. So we're left with 3 plus 4 equals x. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So x is equal to 7. And if you want to check yourself in the calculator, so I'm saying a half plus 2 over 3 should give me 7, if x is 7, 7 over 6. So a half plus 2 over 3, I press equals, it should give me 7 over 6. Yep, x is 7, and that's exactly what I got, and that's the correct answer. So, when we solve, we find the LCD, and when each term is over the LCD, we can drop the LCD, drop the denominator.